Oh, fuck that. I don't think any of that was recording. Fuck. Guys, welcome back. Today's episode, we're making the mouthwatering delicious French dip sandwich. Let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. Okay guys, French dip. It's a great sandwich. Uh, there's nothing better than having that nice crusty bread. You dip it in the beef broth and the au jus, and you have just a wonderful bite. Pretty easy to make. We're gonna be using an Instapot today, so a pressure cooker, just to get that time all the way down. You can do it without this. Just know you're gonna have to roast or you're gonna have to braise for like three hours. This is only gonna take us one hour in this. All right, and on top of that, you're just gonna need a top round roast. It's fine just to use chuck. Try to get a whole chuck, but if you can't, you can get it just already cubed, like stewing beef will work well too. We're throwing it all in the Instant Pot, so it really doesn't matter. And then I have an onion that's just gonna go in there with uh, with everything, and then some beef broth just to cook it all down. And that's it, what, three ingredients in there? Our French bread and some accoutrements. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is we have to sear off our meat. So I'm gonna get this pressure cooker on. I'm gonna turn it on to saute, so we're gonna get this nice and hot. While that heats up, I'm just gonna hit this with a generous amount of salt and pepper. We really wanna make sure this is seasoned, because that's how we're gonna get our nice crust a nice browning on it. it all comes from the seasoning she's beeping that means it's on that's good everything's working today i'm turning this on i caught that early before anything happened so that's good that's on all right we're cruising make sure you get all sides of that too you can just rub once you've kind of got sprinkled the board with salt and pepper just mop it up with the rest of the beef right there i wash up my hands quick now a french dip sandwich although it has the name french in it it is in no way, shape, or form a French dish. It's completely American through and through. There's plenty of like, different like anecdotes, different stories here and there about how or where it was invented. No one really has a claim to it, but the best one I like is that there was a, a customer who had no teeth, so he couldn't chew his food. The hard baguette was too hard to chew, so the waiter just dunked it in some beef broth for him in that au jus, and that warmed it up or that softened it up for him. I don't know if that's true, but it's kind of heartwarming, so I like to believe that that's where the sandwich came from, which is a guy missing all his teeth, just wanted to eat a nice baguette, nice roast beef. So there you go. All right, I'm gonna go in some olive oil now. It's getting hot, look, you can tell it's warming up. I think that's hot in there, so now I'm gonna go in. It's gonna be about like two minutes aside. Oh yeah, here we go. You hear that sound, you know you're good. All right, while that's searing up, I'm just gonna slice up an onion that's gonna go in the pot with the beef. Take that root off, take the base off. Now we slice that in half. And then see here, you have this natural, this the anatomy of the onion, it naturally is curving along these lines. So we're just gonna follow that along with our knife, boom, and just do nice slices like this. All right, it's been about three minutes on one side. Let's give that a flip. Oh yeah, look at that sear we got there. That's beautiful. So now just continue to do that on all sides. That's just gonna go off to the side right now. We'll go right in with all those onions. Boom. Oh, it smells amazing in here. Just get all that fawn, all that, everything. Everything you get off that sear is called the pan fawn, and that's all flavor. All the flavor from the meat is still in that pan, and now it's just transferring over the young, to the onions. Beautiful things are happening. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and it's hitting you right in the face. Look at this, look at this, look at this action we got. And we're beefing, what are we beefing about? Okay, those onions are nice and soft now. All we're gonna do, take our beef broth, just pour it in, we're just gonna deglaze. So now any final fawn that's still in the pan, it's gonna come right off. We go back in now with the beef, bang, that goes right in, and then finish it off, pour the rest of that broth over. It's like one cup of broth in total. We're gonna go on high pressure for 60 minutes. That's all she wrote, you guys. We'll be back in an hour. Okay, guys, we're back. It's been going, it's all, that's fucking hot. It's been going for 60 minutes now. It's depressurized naturally for 10 minutes. So the rest, we're gonna instantly release. This is my favorite part of the whole process. That's why I like using a pressure cooker, because you get this. Yeah, well, there we go. There we go. Let it all out. Let it all out. Look at this. It just smells the whole the whole fucking apartment starts to smell good after this. Just right over the face. Right over the face. Right over the face. It's good. It opens up the pores. It gets you going. Nothing like a nice beef juice in your face to wake you up in the morning or the afternoon or the evening. Whenever you make this, it doesn't matter. You lose track of time when you're cooking. Don't matter, don't matter. Ba -da -ba. I got some bread. I got a baguette. It's been warming up in the oven right now. Look at this, beautiful. It smells so good in here. I got, I wish you could smell this. Just slice. I need to get a bread knife. I'm gonna cut my fucking hand off one of these days. Just slice, get that bread open. Look at that. Now, if you wanna put mustard or horseradish on here, feel free. I'm just gonna keep it pure. I'm gonna go no condiments, but a spicy mustard, a little bit of cream horseradish, delicious. That would taste good. Cheese too. If you wanna go provolone cheese, throw some provolone cheese on there. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. Let's see how everything worked. Oh my God, look at this. Where are my tongs? I put them in a the dishwasher. Fuck, 
Where are my other tongs? I always have two pairs. I can never find it. We gotta we stop moving shit around. Rob, the tongs go in here when we're done cooking with them, all right? Okay, we're going right down on the cutting board. Oh, it's just, it's, it's falling apart. It's just gonna shred. You know what? I'm gonna take all that shredded beef. I'm just gonna dunk it all. A dunk in the au jus. And then into the bread. Into the bread. Now we're gonna take all the cooking liquid and I'm gonna strain it off quick. And that is gonna be our au jus that we dip it in. Oh my God, beautiful. Oh, my light, my light. We lasted so long with the light. Light's fixed. We have these beautiful onions that we've strained out. We're gonna take the onions and just top it. These onions have been cooking down, nice and caramelized. Look how gorgeous those onions are on top of that. Holy shit. We're gonna pour the jus, beautiful, into the ramekin. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have our French dip sandwich. All that is left to do is cut into it. Going for the dunk, this is it. This is the part. This is the magic right here. This is the money shot. Mm. Mm hmm. It's messy, it's falling apart, but guys, that is an unbelievable sandwich. It's just comfort food. It's easy to make, it's really hard to fuck up, especially if you're using an Instant Pot. It's one of those that you just throw together, sit around for an hour, and then bang, you're left with this beautiful sandwich. Guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. I'll see you next time. I'm Chef Donnie. Peace.